Guess who's back in the house? I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. Uh, today is July 5th, and yesterday I was writing in my dining room, and the entire dining room table just started shaking. And living in California, you never know if if your room floor is shaking, you don't know if it's like a tractor trailer going through your neighborhood or if it's an earthquake. Um, and then um, the room just started violently shaking. And we learned that it was an earthquake that was a 6.1 earthquake. And so uh, there were some aftershocks so today, about an hour ago, uh, there was a 7.1 earthquake and it impacted um, California as well as Mexico. And there were several aftershocks. And on the news, a uh, scientist reported that uh, we will continue to have aftershocks that are five Point oh and up um, for um, a, for a long period of time, and um, there could even be higher um, aftershocks, and so um, this always terrifies me about living in California, um, dealing with earthquakes. With an earthquake, like I'm from Florida, and. In Florida, you can she seek shelter from a hurricane, even though, like, knock on wood, I was never in a hurricane in Flora, Flora, Florida. Um, with an earthquake, you you can't hide or um, prevent yourself from being in an earthquake, um, and so. I remember having a conversation with my best friend who I moved to California because of my best friend because uh, he is an actor. He was attending UCLA and every time I would visit him, I would have an incredible time. I wanted to um, really become part of the writing community and I wasn't getting any writing gigs that I wanted in Florida and so I decided that in order to increase the writing opportunities uh, that was coming my way I should just move to California and when I decided to move to California he moved to Texas and he was always telling me that you know there hasn't been a large earthquake in California for some time, and California is due for the big one. And so that's something that I kind of like, that's a fear that's in the back of my head, like, you know, what could potentially happen? In my apartment, um, there are large cracks in the walls from previous earthquakes some of the roads out here have huge um, crack marks and separations because of earthquakes uh, there is an area of California well LA County that's called Sunken City where part of the road has dropped dramatically because of an earthquake and so it's just kind of like a scary thought. And so for people uh, who are watching this video who live in California or live in Mexico or live in places that are impacted by earthquakes, I wanted to give you a few suggestions about what to do after an earthquake. And so um, there will be aftershocks immediately after an earthquake. So you should be mindful about, about falling debris. And so if you're scheduled to go on a hike in the hills, 
I would cancel that because debris could continue to fall. There's an area called um, Abalone Cove in the Palos Verdes area and there was a woman who was hiking and a large boulder fell on top of her and killed her on impact. Avoid areas that have um, items that can fall from above you. Um, also, um, avoid going into damaged buildings because there is a risk of um, a fire could break out, um, debris could fall and hurt you. Also, if you live by the beach, um, avoid actually going to the beach. And if you don't live near the beach, don't go to the beach. Um, and also, um, it's really important to know where you're driving and to um, go an alternate route if you know that a road has been impacted by an earthquake. And so um, these are kind of like um, good tips to think about if you live in an area that is impacted by an earthquake. Um, if any of you have been impacted by the earthquake, um, let me know how you're dealing with it. Um, and I hope that um, all of your family and friends are okay. Um, and I will be posting more videos um, in the upcoming weeks. Um, actually, next week or tomorrow, I'm actually going to a really cool Pride event and I will post about that. Um, it should be fun. And for all of my new subscribers, thank you for choosing to subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. And I hope that you like uh, the content that I have been putting on the channel. Uh, I hope that you guys are having a beautiful day. Besos.